guys. It's another show for you on B Media Wise. Ikamala Mumaraza, and as usual, I say forefront army salute. Now, this is the show that helps you get informed, give your opinion, and get smart. Now, as you know, we have been celebrating Human Rights Day and Human Rights Month here on B Media Wise with our favorite human rights. You have the right to freedom of expression. So we will be checking out what people have been expressing themselves and find out what is happening on South School. But for now, let's check out what Jojo has in store and what has been going on with Jojo as she tries to teach us how to be a mobile movie maker. Yazin, Sanctu Saitila, guys. I've made a decision. I need to get my mom to Josie so I can make sure that she's taken care of. In Dabawuti, she's so damn stubborn. I mean, I called her yesterday. What's it me now? Of course I'm not coming. But it's not fair. I don't understand. She needs me and I need her. Uvela Watsugimi, you're not going to understand my reasons. Utkunsile, I don't understand her reasons. Because they're stupid. Utsugimi, I want you to live a normal life without having to worry about me. Ganja and Ma, of course I'm going to worry about her if she's so far away from me. Futangso Anyoningan, I'm 16 years old. If I can take care of myself, I can take care of her. Futukonu Koko, Uzo Siza, I mean, Uingani Akenai. Angemanda Stendu Ma, she needs her family. I'm not going to let her go through this alone. This time, I'm going to be there, even if it means having to take matters into my own hands, which is exactly what I'm doing. Get up in. If mom's not going to come to me, I'm going to go fetch her. Remember that whole thing about events and characters? Well, an event is happening to your girl, Joe, and I'm about to create my own event as well. You better watch this. Hey, what? Dude, what's up? Please cover for me. Why? Where are you going? I'm going back to Durban. And I'm going to go to but I have to go. Dude, how are you even going to get to Durban? I'm going to hit a ride. What? Are you mad? It's dangerous. Look, I'm going to go before the bell rings. I need to go. Joe! Dude, what if something happens to you? Yazin, I can't believe that Tabby wouldn't cover for me. I mean, why is she freaking out? People hitch rides all the time. Nothing's gonna happen to me. It's gonna be fine. Yes, Nkabango, Mrs. Milev. Uzo Fonelu Koko, and Nu Koko is just totally gonna freak out, and then I'm gonna get into trouble. But it's fine, because by the time that happens, I'll be long gone. And also, Okoko said, I have to deal with my own events. So this is exactly what I'm doing dealing with my events. And I'm packed and ready to go. Oh no, Uncle Siami, Jojo, what are you thinking? What are you doing? I can't believe it. Jojo is about to run off to Durban. What does this mean? Well, after this, we will check out more from Jojo. Until then, don't go away if, like me, you want to find out more. So, have a good day. StudyMate is a series of study guides and DVDs created specially to help you ace your final exam. The StudyMate study guides and DVDs are available for all your key subjects like English, physical sciences, accounting, mathematics, and many more. Get your StudyMate revision material now from selected CNA stores. Or you can call us on 011-482-4053. Or you can visit our website on www.studymate.co.za for more information. Welcome back to Be Media Wise. So each week we are following Jojo as she becomes a mobile movie maker and gives us tips on how to create our very own mobile movie maker entries. By entering, you stand a chance of being on TV and win prizes like a fully paid Boston Media bursary and some cash prizes. Check out Facebook for more. Now, before the break, stuff went crazy as Jojo was about to hitchhike to Durban. Let's go find out what happens next. Jojo, Jojo! Jojo, what's up? I'm going to go to the house. Jojo, what's up? I'm going to go to the house. 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 That is very dangerous for a young girl like you, Jojo, to hitchhike, Jojo. Queen goes. 
Okay, guys, again, Kulmele Pezul because I'm in a lot of trouble and I'm not even supposed to be doing this. And if you go on Yizwa, there'll be more trouble, which I really don't need. So, Izola, when I came back, Okoko was waiting for me and she was so, so angry. So was Mrs. Molefe because she did call. And after I explained everything, she cooled down. So I guess she understands why I did what I did. But still, I need to find a way to bring Uma home without putting myself in danger. Also saying in Kolelu type, my conversation in Oma Koko made me understand that I was in the wrong and that all she was trying to do was look out for me, which is something that I need to appreciate. But I guess this all goes back to yesterday's discussion about characters and events and how they're affected. Well, today's example comes from my life. So, as I said, events happen in our lives to create a problem, something that we have to overcome. Always believe they affect our character. They can either make or break us. So the choices we make are going to determine how we come out of the situation. Kabang, Umakoko came out stronger after her challenge. But I came out weak and I acted foolishly. Always tattoo, to, these events can lead to other events, causing a domino effect. I mean, my guilt caused me to bank and to try and run away to Durban. And then banking got me into big trouble, which means I'm not going to be able to have good times with Utabi because I'm going to be stuck in detention. So guys, it's difficult. You can see that it also affects the people that surround you. I mean, Okoko was really upset and she was really worried. And now I've also lost my whole friendship with Utabi. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I know what I should do, though. I should call and apologize because I really did mess up. Anyway, while I do that, you guys should probably think about your events and your story and how they're going to affect your character and their other characters. I think I can hear Okoko coming. I should go sleep like now. So this week, Jojo is all about the events. What an event. Events create a problem for your character. Jojo tried to go and see her mom and bring her back, but she failed. Like everybody, I am asking, will she try again? Well, I guess we'll have to wait until next week for another exciting look at Be a Mobile Movie Maker with Jojo. Now, for you at home, start planning those events. We are at the time where a character must be changed by an event. Remember, an event is something that happens, that something needs to happen to your character. Jojo isn't the only one who has been up to stuff. Now, every week we get new clips from viewers all over Mzansi. Let's go see what some of the cell phone citizen journalists have been up to this week. Reporting live from Philip High School, the matter is that students are gambling and some students, when they gamble, when they have no money, it leads them to go and steal. From now on, I've heard that there are some learners who are just gambling, just 
around the corner. So now me and the camera crew are going to see what are they doing after we're going to interview them one by one. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Ah, 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 yes, yes. How do you feel about gambling since you share my little Yeah, you know, it feels so good and nice because now I want a lot of money. I can able to buy myself anything that I want. So like I'm saying, don't you think that this thing of gambling will reach other children to go and stay money? No, I don't think so. Okay, can I ask you one thing? Yes. When was the last time like you have uh, think about other children? Think about them. Uh, so the money transport. Nah. I don't have time yeah, to think. Uh, transport transport you, you feel them. You feel them. Transport them. Yeah. Uh. So like viewers, as you can see, gambling is wrong for students. Let us go and interview one of the teachers. So right now we are going to ask Mr. Pofu how does he feel about gambling in school. So like, sir, how do you feel about gambling in school? <laughs> So like, as you have heard, Mr. Mofu just said that school is for learning. If they want to go and gamble, let them go and gamble in casino. Thank you. Now remember guys, get onto our Facebook page and check out how you can be a mobile citizen journalist or a mobile movie maker and win amazing prizes. Look, I feel like Oprah with all these prizes. You get a prize, you get a prize, everybody gets a prize. Let's check out another clip from our cell phone citizen journalist right now. Okay, man, I'm going to go and get my echo. 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 Okay. All right, amazing stuff, man. It's awesome to see what you have been up to in your schools and your communities. Don't stop sharing with us. We want to see what has been happening out there. Email, post, Facebook, WhatsApp, or BBM us those clips. Check out our Facebook page for more information. So now, guys, we need to head over to see what's happening this week on South School. As we get closer to exams, it is time for you to take charge and start getting those lessons under your belt. So let's check out what South School has to offer. Remember that time he had a math teacher that spoke way too fast and he couldn't make sense of what he was saying? And then he got hit in the face with a soccer ball during break and the swelling made him sound like a tailly tubby? But then you got hit in the face with a soccer ball and had a concussion for a week? And when you got back to class, you had no idea what was going on and it felt like your head was going to explode? No problem. Cell School offers free daily video lessons on Mixit for grade 10 to 12 in maths, maths literacy, physical sciences, life sciences, and accounting. Cell School, we've got your back. Hey guys, as always, I'm here to update you about the great content that Cell School is offering you this week. Grade 10s are looking at trigonometry and specifically evaluating expressions. Now I know trig can be tricky, but stick with us and you'll be sorted come exam time. Grade 11s tackle analytical geometry, focusing on inclination and the equation of a line. Grade 12s, we haven't forgotten about you guys. Our teacher will be taking you through the ins and outs of double angles. Remember, 
maths isn't the only subject South School offers. We also have life sciences, English first additional language, physical sciences, maths literacy and accounting, all for free. So head on over to Mixit, Trade Post, Mixit Reach, Education, South School, and you'll always be one step ahead. South School, we've got your back. Away my second, that's what I'm talking about. Sign up on Mixit and get a teacher in your pocket. Now, before we go and check in with Brimo, let's check out what's happening out there in Mzansi with B, a cell phone CJ. the winner of the Be Media Wise Freedom of Expression Challenge and you guys have been going crazy sending us those clips. Carry on guys, we love your opinions. All you have to do is send us your clip. It can be on anything. Just remember, keep them coming. You can enter as many times as you like. Now remember, if you want more details, you need to go and check out our Facebook page. Everything is right there. I think it's time to head over to Primo who has some inspirational and motivational words for us. So, over to you Primo. We've already talked about the benefits of achieving academic excellence as one, satisfaction, two, we talked about confidence, and three today, I'm talking about recognition. When you are academically excellent, when you obtain distinctions, your classmates, your colleagues, your peers are going to recognize you. Your teachers are going to recognize you. And your community, and who knows, your country might even recognize you. Like some of those students who obtain six distinctions and then they appear on national television and everyone sees them. Who, who would want to be recognized? I want to be recognized. I'm sure you want to be recognized as well. A study actually showed that some people who become very serious criminals in a society, let's say serial killers or serial rapists, they do so because they were searching for recognition. The recognition they couldn't find in their families or in other social settings. So my friend, you see that if we want to be recognized, we do not need to be involved in, in vices. We can pursue success and achieve success and the world will recognize us. Now it's getting more exciting. I like this part. The fourth benefit for achieving academic excellence is free education. Aha, everybody wants to get something free. We all want to get an education for free. If possible, we want the government to pay for us. If possible, we want a company to pay for us. If possible, we do not want to stress our family because the cost of education these days is very expensive. I was watching the television the other day and I saw this young guy, Joshua, who wrote his school certificate exams. And now the results were out. Joshua obtained six distinctions. Guess what? Joshua was from a poor home. Joshua had to walk two kilometers to school every day, sometimes on a hungry stomach. But that did not stop Joshua from dreaming very big and from working very hard. Now the results were out, Joshua obtained six distinctions. And the television, a national television, invited Joshua to share the principles that helped him to achieve academic excellence. 
During the interview, Joshua said that he didn't have a sponsor to sponsor him to obtain tertiary education, so he was going to stay at home. Guess what? The next day, a company called Joshua, a man who had listened to the interview, called Joshua and said, Joshua, we have a scholarship for you. So my friend, just like Joshua, if you achieve academic excellence, you can have your fees paid. But more than that, I'm sure we all want to go to school to obtain certificates or diplomas or degrees or masters, whatever it is, and then be able to get decent jobs that pay well and that satisfy us. But if we want to get decent jobs, we also need to be academically excellent. So the number five benefit of achieving academic excellence is that you will have opportunities to obtain good jobs. Because people who run companies, the HR people and the CEOs and the MDs are looking for the best people to employ. They are not looking for average. That is why they pay the newspapers to advertise in the newspapers. They pay a lot of money. They set up a venue for the interview. They, uh, they collect CVs from different applicants and then they interview all these people. They're doing that not to employ an average person. They're doing that to employ the best. My friend, your grades will speak for you. If you are academically excellent, job opportunities will be there for you. Job offers will pursue you. And should I even tell you, you can even begin to name your prize at job interviews. I remember one of the interviews I went a few years ago. After the interview, the, pres the people who interviewed me said, Brimo, your, dis your grades are so good, and this interview has been very good. How much would you want us to pay you? I named my prize. And when the job offer came, they offered me what I asked for. If you're not excellent, you cannot name your prize. It is only excellent people that can name their prize. It's only excellent people who will have opportunities that they can choose from. Remember today that excellence will give you options. Being excellent is for your own good. It will give you options. So my friend, remember that people pay you for what you know and you are going to pay for what you do not know. Your learning power is your earning power. In wrapping up this part, I'm going to remind you the five benefits of achieving academic excellence that I have shared with you. Number one is satisfaction. Number two is confidence. Number three is recognition. Number four is free education like scholarships and bursaries. And number five is job opportunities. Academic excellence will make you satisfied and it will give you options. Don't forget to meet us on the social networks. Let's mix it, Facebook and Twitter. Sekfigi Le Footless Cut Social where we have to say goodbye, but be sure to join us next week because with Be Media Wise, we help you get informed, give your opinion, and get smart. You should know by now. Now, check out this message from our celebrity friend. From me and the team, it's Forefront Army Salute Sogbonang Eskadizai. No one can tell you you can't. You tell yourself that you can. Doesn't matter if you're too tall, you're too short, you're too fat, you're too thin, you can do it. If you decide you want to do it, you're going to do it. <laughs>